Okay, I've been doing some experimenting with uh, mounts on a motorcycle for the GoPro. I've tried four different methods. I've tried a chest mount, which kept it kind of low. You can see the gauges and handlebars and stuff that you really couldn't see the scenery out front. So I tried raising it a little bit, which helped. You can still see the gauges and stuff. And uh, it did okay. As you can see in the four-way split screen, I've got uh, one with the chest mount where it's low, one with its high, one with the handlebar mount, and one with the helmet mount. I kind of resisted putting it on my helmet because I didn't really want to stick something down my helmet. I finally broke in and did it. Uh, the drawbacks with the uh, chest mount, like I said, was having the gauges and everything, and it was too low. And when I put it up high, it, uh, you know, I kind of made some adjustments, abnormal adjustments, I guess you'd call it on the chest mount, and the camera was kind of tilted. So when I do that, I gotta be very careful that the camera's straight because it looks like it's tilted all the time. Uh, on the handlebar mount, the big drawback, as you can see in uh, the video here, you get a lot of vibration in the camera. I mean, if when it's going down the road smooth, you're good, but you know, if you get on it, the engine vibrates, motorcycle vibrates, camera vibrates, and you can see by the video that it jumps up and down, which is not really good. So finally I did the helmet mount, and uh, that looks good. It, uh, you don't get any obstruction of the view of anything out front, anything like that. But if I turn my head, you see in the video that the camera just follows my head. So I got to kind of, if I'm wanting to keep the video good and straight on a certain area, I got to keep my focus in that area. It's good if I want to look sideways at something and show it in the camera. I can just turn my head. And, but you don't want to be distracted while you're riding either. Because you look down and you can look up on the motorcycle and before you know it, you could be in real trouble. Handlebar mount, it's just very secure. I don't have to worry about it coming off, anything like that. It's bolted on real well. And it, you know, it's secure on the bike. Chest mount secure on my chest. I don't have to worry about that. Coming loose. Uh, the helmet mount is probably the least secure I'm thinking. If that sticky tongue loose or something for the mount on the helmet, there goes the GoPro off the helmet and probably shattered into a million pieces on the road. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'd end up using the most, probably the helmet mount, but I'd like your opinion. If you could put in the comments uh, which would you rather view? Would you like the gauges? be in the picture, handlebars and all that, or would you rather just have a wide open field of view out from the bike? Now all four of these, the sound is not real good. You can pick up the wind noise on the GoPro. I don't have an external mic on it. I don't have a full face helmet. A lot of them will mount the GoPro on the full face helmet with external mount and helmet so they don't get any wind noise. You can hear the engine of the bike and all that. Probably the Worst sounding one is the handlebar mount. Because it does pick up all the wind noise and all the vibration and all that. Uh, the uh, chest mount, you can hear the engine okay. You know, uh, you get to a certain point for a certain speed, of course, you gotta get wind noise. So I like uh, 
opinions on that is, uh, say I'm riding down the road, scenic highway, say between here and Beaver Dam or partial shortcut or whatever. Would you prefer to have video and music or video and the sound of the bike and the wind noise? So give me your opinion. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.